Hi. Uh, it's Super Divorce here. Welcome to Super Divorce Channel. Super Divorce Channel. We're gonna try Chop Goblins. Never played it before, so I'm not gonna use the Goblin setting. Fiend, the intended balance for a first playthrough. Imp, you're new to PC shooters or just want a chill experience. Sightseeing, explore the levels with no enemies or UI. Why don't I try... Fiend. The year is 1984. On a whim, one evening you decide to break into the local museum's basement and see what sort of treasures it might hold. One dusty wooden chest catches your eye. You open it, and a mob of strange creatures leaps out. This particular chest was secretly a prison for the malevolent Chop Goblins. The titular Chop Goblins. Lured inside by the promise of delicious cheese and trapped for untold aeons, they are now loose to wreak havoc on the world once more. You know what must be done. Grabbing an antique dagger from a pile of dusty artifacts, you give chase. Chase is on the case. An antique dagger you grabbed from a nearby crate. Not the best weapon, but it's better than nothing. And a skilled wielder might be able to deflect thrown projectiles with it. You can also do a quick dagger attack at any time, regardless of what weapon you have out, by pressing the use button. Let's give it a try here. Nope. Right off the bat, I noticed that it's got a quick... It's got a quick look around. It feels nice and fluid. We can do left or right click to stab at our goblins and other items. When I worked at uh, McDonald's a long time ago, I used to take the tongs and run up to the like uh, fucking trays and go ting 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 like I was playing Counter Strike. Jump in the air, do like a twist, and then stab at like trays of meat. All right, found a health bonus. What do we got over here? It's got a nice, satisfying crunch when you stab the boxes. I guess we'll pick up some other items along the way. Just like to see what all we can fuck around with here. What's that? Uncovered an ancient secret. What was it? What kind of secret did I uncover here? Oh, look! We found an impaler. That's cool. And how do we switch back to our... Oh, we can keep that going. Okay. Got it. Just light him up a little bit. A lot of times I'll save ammo in a weapon like this until I really need it, but I wanted to see what this thing did. Look at that. That's the impaler. Ouch. Turn them all to... Chop liver there. Alright, we've picked up some impaler ammos. Stab him through the window. There's no jump button. So we're not going to be jumping through here, I guess. Let's see what's in here. Found a chop coin. I like chop coins. No ancient uh, Chinese secret on the side of that one. Hey, hold on a second. Who the? Did he come through the window? Or did he, oh, he, he might have come through that door right there, actually. How about that shit? All right, uh, there's a vending machine. Look at that meat up there just bouncing around just nice. Alright, let's head on up here and see what's going on. Here's another gun. This is a flintlock pistol. And you can see that someone's trying to chop me right through there. Fixed his wagon. I would like to open this door. Can I do that? 
Seems like there should be a way to open that door. Maybe I have to go back around. Maybe I'll come through over there. You see where I'm looking? Right there? Alright. I'll probably have to come back through that way. That's my guess. Did I stab this? I'm trying to get sodas. I hear the sodas, but I don't see them coming out. Alright, well. Some other time. Something down here? Uh, no crouch option either. Tried both C and control. Nothing's happening there. Alright, well, I guess... I thought maybe there'd be a secret back there. But I guess not. On up we go, get ourselves a little health pack, a little health regeneration kit. Oh, this guy's throwing choppies at us. Whoop. Watch yourself. Alright, now just let me, let me just look around for a second, see what I can see. Because now we know that there are secrets abound in this game, so we don't want to miss out on secrets. Found some flintlock ammo. A health bonus. Oh, look at that. He just dodged right out of my way. Luckily, you can stab him with your knife. That helps. Got some bricks here. Hey, look at that. You can drink a soda pop. You can't do anything with the brick. You can't... Not much going on in here. Let's get out of here. Hold on, there's a button I found. What did that just do? That opened a doorway of some sorts. Right out there! Woo! Look at that! Bullet time! Not the type of game that I expected to have bullet time. Good job, David Shamansky. Putting in bullet time. Making things a bit more fun. You can stab the... Trash bags. Let's get these uh, cardboard boxes out of the way there and pick up some more first aid, shall we? Health packs of 20. Health packs of plenty. Let's head on up here real quick. Before we continue through the outdoors region, I'd like to exhaust uh, everything that we can do indoors. Ah, taking a few more hits than I'd like, but it doesn't have to be that way. Now, what do we have here? Some sort of Goblin Hall of Fame? What is this? This is the, oh, this must be the uh, museum that they talked about in the beginning. The museum. Can we poke through the glass and feck around with uh, some of the artifacts? I guess not. There will be no fucking around with artifacts tonight, but... Did you say punish me? Hey look! It's uh... It's Robespierre! <clears throat> Just having another look around. Please excuse me while I... Just check around here just to make sure I've not... Left a bunch of shit behind that might be helpful. Because I'm, I'm still have in mind that one region down at the very beginning that I have not been back to yet. I've not seen a way to get there. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is what I'm looking for. We're down in the grand foyer of the museum. We're all full up on health, it looks like. I'm 
checking around for hidden buttons, for secrets to be revealed in a ye old museum shop here. See lots of my uh, impaler things. It's locked! Looks like I need a key. <clears throat> now maybe it's down there. Or uh, maybe there's a, a button somewhere that I have to push that I've missed. What does that say? Business something. Can we eat the chips? Yeah. 106 health. We can eat the chippies. What do we got down here? Some chap coins. Sometimes it's worth stabbing at paintings, and sometimes we're stabbing at statues. Even lights sometimes, just to see. Because you never know. One of the, the keys to a new video game you never played before is to just fuck around a little bit. So we're looking for chop coins and and uh, red buttons and different things and stabbing at paintings and all sorts of all sorts of manner of bullshit. Shocking y'all. I'm shocking y'all. There you go. Put this guy. They like to throw their little bebops at me, but it's not working. It's not. It's not gonna get the job. Oh, look, we missed one. I'll come right up for you, sir. You son of a bitch. That was a big coin. And I still need to remember that there's a place outside we can go. This is, um, got a choose-your-own-adventure feel to it. Because they're letting me go where I want to go. And I don't know if I should have gone through that gate outside, way back in the back, in the back, back, back. In the back of the yak pack, back. Because I felt like there were other things to see here. That's locked. That's the exit. Is that the exit of the whole level? I don't know. So I'm gonna have to go back up. I'm gonna have to go back up and uh, oh, and uh, and I'll uh, head uh, this way to see what's uh, what's going on back here now. I think because it might be one of those situations where if I go through that exit, then that's gonna exit this level, and I will have missed out on whatever treats and and so forth. Uh, possibly await me maybe out here I'm just letting you in on my, my mindset why is he backtracking all this way it's because one more to go there's another switch that I have to hit I guess but now I'm butt hurt because uh <clears throat> Because I feel like I should be able to open this up somehow. I want to get in there, is where I want to go. But I don't know how to do it. This is like way back at the beginning. <clears throat> Sorry. Did I miss a branching path somewhere? Did I something I should have fucked around with that I just breezed on past? I don't know. Well, I don't know what... <sighs> All I know is it's starting to piss me off here. So what do they want? What do you want, Shemansky? You son of a bitch. What do you want me to do here? Tell me what you want me to do, you son of a bitch. Look for secret buttons. I've followed the goblins. I've followed the doors that I can open. I've tried to uh, be thorough. As you can see, you can attest to that. Haven't I? Haven't I tried to be thorough so far? So then you get punished. 
I become a punished super divorce trying to be thorough, trying to do my due diligence, make sure I don't miss things. I got all these locked doors. No one's giving me keys. No one's dropping keys. I only see so many buttons to press. And, um... I don't know. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? That's my question here. What do you want from me? As I search all the way through, as I spin around and go around and doodly doot and do and eat all these chips, looking for various pieces of. See, damn it! I fucking knew that was gonna happen. God damn it, it pisses me off. I. Why did I do that? Because I thought maybe it'd just be like an exit outdoors because it said one more to go. You got one more to go. So I didn't think the level was going to end. The chop goblins have escaped the museum and are running amok in the streets of your city. Sounds of wanton destruction greet you as you exit the front doors. You catch a glimpse of several chop goblins, titular chop goblins, disappearing into an alley. With shock, shock and y'all, you realize they are carrying the crown jewel of the museum's collection, the ancient Aztec time manipulation tablet. With that precious artifact, they could wreck havoc, not just on your city, not just on the world, but on time itself. You know what you must do. The chop goblindas are sort of like Smurfette, except huge, angry, steeped in 1950s stereotypes, and there's way more than one of them. Goblindas don't need cleavers to do damage. They attack with cutting words alone. Keep some cover handy. Flinch them if they start winding up, and whatever you do, don't insult their hairstyle. All right, let's go. I like the sky out here. What is this? Oh no, they chopped down the building. Great tunes. Let's do some chopping of our own here. I wonder if I can go back inside. Nope, I'm stuck. I fucked up by leaving uh, so soon. I think there were still things to do, clearly. There was a way into that room and I didn't get in. I should never have interacted with the front door when I knew, oh, look at that. You stabbed the car enough times, it blows up in your face. Satisfying pop to uh, the, the bottle when you stab it with your chopping knife. What's in here? Paler ammos, a health bonus. Okay, I guess we're supposed to go through the alleyway over here. Le nice pink sky, pink sky at night, sailor's delight. But is it pink sky at morning? Because if so, then we should take warning. Seems like we need to take warning, don't we? Or the co the coblins do. Shock and yow. Gotcha, bitch. Chop koi? How about that? See, I just... It'd be cool if, um... If, like, oh! You didn't mean to come out here. Yeah, you can go back inside the museum. Look around a little bit. Nope. Gonna have to do that on the next playthrough. Which is bullshit. Found a street sweeper shotgun. Street sweeper, babe, cocked up, and let it go. No flashlight. I just pressed F instinctively because I said, hey, I didn't press F to pay respects. So I was pressing F to, to go ahead and look around with uh, 
clear eyes with my special eyes and it didn't work hey look at that there we go there we go nice uh, bloody animation when you complete a uh, transaction with your shotgun oh look health bonuses. Picking up some some stuff here. Nice close quarters action. There we go. Okay, I'll just stab around here and just see what all we can find. Maybe hunk some meat. What's this? I thought those were x-rays for a second, but it looks like we just got some glass black windows down in the basement here. My old uh, home used to have some glass block windows. I don't have any in my new one. In case you were wondering. Hey! Stop it. Oh, look at all these guys. Luckily, we got some health packs right there. Some chop coin. Someone's trying to chop at us. There he is. Keep that in mind. We gotta... Oh, look at all these guys. See if I can get a bunch of them chasing after me. <clears throat> Make fools of them. Why don't you guys come on over here? Got a little something for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait right about here. And there's something like that. Look at all that. Look at all that beef. It's an old Vince McMahon quote. And what have we got in here? Get ourselves back up to par. On our health. Head up here. And, um... What do you think? You see any secrets? I haven't seen any secrets yet. But let me go inside the body shop. Like Jesse the Batty Ventura, heading inside the body shop. And, um, we got some chap coins. We make a phony phone call to Ed Rooney. No, it doesn't work. Nice satisfying crunch there too. And uh, out here we got some nice chap coins just waiting for us. There's another door here. That one's locked. Where's the key? If only I could jump. There's not like a trick, is there? Like a different jump button besides space bear? That would be something to do, wouldn't it? You trick the player, they think, oh, you can't even jump in this game, but there's actually a jump button and it's not what you're used to. It's like a little... Chris Angel mind trick. But I don't see any way to do that, so I'm guessing you have to... What was that? Yeah. I guess you probably have to unlock the door somehow. I just don't know how you're supposed to do it. Maybe, uh... Maybe by heading upstairs? We can drop down that way. Let's see. What was that? Oh, we found a key! This must be just the key I needed. Let's see what all kind of items we got here to pick up. Chop coins. Big coins. Like I said, great soundtrack. Nice and dancey, nice and upbeat, nice and fun. Hey, we missed that. I don't want to miss that. There we go. You just gotta, you just gotta maneuver around. You don't have to jump to it. You just have to move, maneuver 
around to it. Now then. Heading on over this way. Ooh, look at all these guys. These guys are just ripe for a... Whoa, what happened there? Oh, shit. Look at that. What the... God bless it all. Nope. Look at that. Bunch of horse shit. Damn. I have a feeling that I got lucky making it through that on my first attempt. I, that seems like the type of thing that's going to be a real son of a bitch for some people. If you don't get knocked into the right area, that could be a real SOB. Probably on the higher difficulty, too. I mean, that'll be... That'll be something else. I'm not getting There we go. I just now realize there's a score multiplier when you start killing them all in quick succession. Anything cool in here? Looking for secrets! Take all the health I can get, though. Uh, seems like you gotta... You gotta walk over it just the right way. Now, how do I get those? Maybe you can only get those if the car blasts you up on top of the building. Though, I do have a question. I wonder. No, okay. I thought that might bring the building down and then open up a new pathway or something, but <clears throat> it doesn't happen. But we can get some health here. Re-up on our health. Always good to do. Sitting at a nice 84 out of 100. And yet more health over here, so let's go pick this up first. Before we continue on with our adventures. Yeah, okay. Let's continue along now. Yeah. I guess those are just for show, huh? Thought something might happen if I... Bullshit, I don't like looking up there and seeing those and, and having no way to get up there and get to them. Why can't I drive a car? Why can't I drive a car up there? Why can't I get those Chop Goblin coins? Okay. Get the, get the shit out of here. Or chop coins. I, I don't know what the chop coins do. I haven't seen a chop store where I can redeem my chop coins for any sort of chop merchandise. Just kind of hoping I would, but I haven't seen it yet. Seems like a ripoff. Now I gotta remember there's a stairway down there. And we've got guys. I guess he's too high up. Oh. Didn't make fun of her hair. They said not to do that. She still came after me. What's the big deal? She ain't done shit. Made a little circuit here. I'm trying to get all the uh, areas explored here. 
Don't miss anything good. Okay, we've we've pressed one button. We go down here. This uh, region kind of reminds me of a little bit of uh, Night at the Gates of Hell, color-wise, visually-wise. Not so much gameplay-wise. This game is much faster than Night at the Gates of Hell. But it still has a similar aura and tone to it. If you've never played Night at the Gates of Hell, I highly recommend you check it out. From Black Eyed Priest. Found a health bonus. What is that? One more of those to go. I don't even know what that thing does. Hmm. All right. Continuing on. Hey. Sequence complete. That did something. get any prize for uh, picking up all the phones, doing anything like that. I, I don't know. Seems like they should activate something. Maybe not though. Might just be for fun. A little apple snack. Some apple jacks. That it? Anything else? Yeah? Alright. No. You, you calm down. A nice soda pop. So they call you names or, or insult you and it takes health away. I've never seen that in a game before. That's fairly inventive. Okay, so what have we done now? What happened there? Hey, look. This is where I, I just was that fucking time before. Okay, go down here. Found a wand charge. I don't know what that sequence did, you know? With the little targets. Do something up here. Ooh, what do we got here? Bolt cutters. Nice. I love bolt cutters. It's always good when you pick up bolt cutters in the game. That's never a bad thing. I've never played a video game where picking up bolt cutters was a a bad thing for the player to do. You always want to get bolt cutters if you can. Now. Impaler ammo. Anything else? Any secrets? I wonder... I thought maybe this would blow a hole in the wall and there'd be some sort of secret item in there, but I guess not. But if you want to add an update to the game, David Shemansky, where that happens, I think that would be a good thing. You had the car sitting here, you blow it up, hole in the wall, you get a little item back there. Reward the player for being inquisitive. Nothing though, so we'll, we'll go back this ways and uh, continue onwards. To where? Where do we want to go? Down in that basement area? Down below? To like the subway? There might be a train station back there. Okay. We'll try that out. Let's go down this way. 
and see what we can see. They've locked the fence. Okay, so we have to find another way through. Well, go back this way again. So nothing there. Nothing there. So they've added a little labyrinthian aspect to the game. Maybe there is a downstairs compartment that we've opened up. A hatch leading down somewhere that I'm missing. What is that? A flintlock speed loader. Totally walked by that, I guess. Or maybe that was one of the, the secret doors that I opened up. Hmm. Shields. Oh no. Have we hit one of those spots in the game? Because this is one of my least favorite things to happen in a video game where. You're just walking around a level where you've seemingly decimated all the enemies and there's not one set direction that where you can clearly see you're supposed to go. So you just start meandering about. No rhyme or reason to it. Really a pet peeve of mine. I don't like this type of thing. So, um, yeah, okay, you would think, okay, yeah, we we'll go down here, nope. Alright, find another way around. Where would that be? It must be down this way, because this is the direction the game is kind of funneling you towards. Okay, so the first option would be to go this way. And what happens if you go up here? This takes you, uh, right back to the area where you came from. Alright, that's, that's likely not the way you're supposed to go. So let's keep going around the side here. Where is this going to take me to? This takes me to this garage area where we've kind of looked around. We've seen everything this region has to offer. What is that? I don't know what those green jutting out things are. Uh, so we'll go up. Okay, we got to go up into the blue building. Did you try getting the soda pops? Maybe that opens up sort of uh, some secret or something like that. No, then not as far as I can tell. So then we go into here and uh, I don't see anything. Nothing that is telling me, hey, you've made it to where you're supposed to go. I don't see that yet. Keep walking, we go into this back alleyway. We can stab up some trash bags, a box, a lady's head who's stuck through the building. Go into the super blue building. Putting us up on top. There's another red button that we've pressed. And now what? Now what? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like, it seems like I should have by now run into, oh, what the fuck, what, that's it, why did it say find another way around, that's all I had to do is just walk into it. That seems like a, a that was a shit. That was a shit move right there, David Shemansky. I don't like what just happened there. I don't like that at all. What is this magazine? Hmm. So do I head towards that? They've opened a time porter. Time portal. Not Porter. Sam Porter Bridges. 
Death Stranding Chop Goblins uh, crossover coming soon. Here we go. Into the time portal. A whirl of colors passes by and you emerge from the time portal, gasping for breath. After a moment, you survey your surroundings, and it doesn't take long for you to comprehend the Chop Goblins' plans. You are in the castle of Count Dracula. They must mean to wake him from his eternal slumber to aid them in their evil rampage. A strange weapon lies in front of you, seemingly fashioned to hurl wooden stakes, left here by a doomed vampire hunter, no doubt. It will probably come in handy for the battle that's about to take place. The Anosperatus are Dracula's fearsome feline pets created through dark vampire magic. Now they have joined forces with the Chop Goblins. Keep your distance and watch out for their lunge attack. Cool looking uh, vibe here in Dracula's castle. I think we just drank some blood. Are we going to turn into a vampire now? Or does it not matter? Are the rules off because we've time traveled? It's a new quirk in vampire lore. If you time travel, you can't be turned into a vampire. If a vampire bites a time traveler, it actually takes away their vampire powers. Did you know that? That's how vampirism works in the super divorce universe. If you're a vampire, before you uh, nibble on someone's neck, make sure they ain't time traveling, unless you want to lose your vampire powers. area looks nice and clean let's move on chop coin chop coin chop coin a seven times multiplier we had going on there look at all these sons of a bitches I got sloppy there sometimes you do that you're like, I'm just going to stay here and, and deal with these guys. Do your worst. Bunch of criminal scum. Alright, into the... What is this region? What would you call this? The Grand Hallway? Let's see what's going on in this room. There's a nice fireplace. Lots of bottles for breaking. I wonder if I'll get an achievement for doing this. Breaking every bottle in this game. I won't get the achievement for visiting every area, I know that much. Because in that first level... They fucked me out of it. David Shemansky absolutely fucked me out of uh, doing what, what... Look at that. We got flying witch goblins. Yep. Yep. Come on, damn it. You fucking damn it. On a twenty-one. Give me a shit break. Oh man, I got one hit left and I'm gonna Better find some uh some health packs. So I don't get humiliated. Drink a little blood. A little health bonus. 
chop coin bonus. Heading into the bowels of the castle. Doing some bowel movement here. Way down in the bow. I don't like how far in the bowels I'm going yet. I'm not ready for the bowel movements. I have a particular way I like exploring maps, and this is... Like, I don't like going just from this area up here, and then going down like seven fucking levels. We're not doing that yet. I'm doing a little more up here. What is that? The door to Dracula's Sanctum? Oh, look at you. How? It's like your basic gablin. How do you have so much resilience? We got some grapes. Dracula Grape Boy. Oh, look at these guys. Jeez. These guys take a licking and keep on ticking, don't they? Found some big coins. Big Goron coins. Now, a few little health packs would be good if I could do that. Look at all these. Find right here. I think that's safe. I'm trying to see where that's coming down. Okay. Good. I guess the first aid would be safe. Now let's get the lever. The door opens. Do I want to keep going this way? Yes. What is that? Oh, okay. Damn it! There's one done. Got him. Now let me have a little look around outside. Good, no vampires in the uh, coffin caskets. That's reassuring. Stab your brooms. How about, how about that? Like that when I stab your brooms? Take your little flying shit away from you? What, what do we got going on down there anyway? You never know. You never know what might open a secret door or... Now, now that I've done my proper exploration up here, I think I'm ready to go down into the bowels of the castle of Dracula's asshole. All right, looking good. On we go. Continuing down, down, down. What is this? A sinister mask. I don't know what that does. I hope it's good. I hope it doesn't hurt us in the end. Shock goblin coins? And then, hey look, we just turned on a flashlight out of nowhere. I could have used that before. Speaking of before, before I head down, find the three masks. Okay, there's Juan. There's Juan mask. I'll go down here and... Whoa! There's another mask. Maybe some 
fresh health down here. Damn you. Look how wide that guy opens his mouth. He's crazy. He's a real son of a bitch. Anyone who opens their mouth that wide has to be a real son of a bitch. It's not natural, it's not right. So there's our third mask. I'll just go and put these masks in proper place and we should be able to open up the secret passage. I think. The door to uh, Dracula's inner rectum. On our health pack. Where was that? I think I'm going the wrong way. That's, yeah, it's down here somewhere, wasn't it? I'm all turned around. I wasn't paying enough attention. That's where we picked up the first mask, wasn't it? And then we went through here, down this way. There we go, okay. Sorry. All masks have been inserted and now... And now what? The mace have been inserted. What would they like for me to do at this time in my life? Okay, I guess we go this way. Um, I think I missed a secret. I think there is an item Hold on. Hold on a sec. If we can go back and look up here for a minute. I think I missed something. That might be important. Just this way. Right here. How do I get that? What is that? How do I get down there? I'm curious about this thing floating beneath me. It's some sort of tincture. Something in a little bottle there. Some sort of solution or uh, an elixir of some sort. But I don't know how to get to it. By the way, I don't think I needed to take such a risk, did I? I didn't have to cross the swinging blades. I could have... Hmm. I'd really like to get that. But how? Before I go and fight Big Drac. I mean, it has to be down through these catacombs. There has to be some way to get there. what the way is, I don't know. That's that's what I'm afraid of. I don't know the way. So I think this would be... No? Let me try going down again. Look around way down here. One more time. See if I can find a switch or a secret door or secret compartment. I think that goes back upstairs. So let me try to navigate over this way. Oh, some shotgun shells. I don't see anything. I don't know what I'm missing. Huh. Hermph. 
Well, just so I don't keep walking around the same freaking areas over and over again, I might have to let that one go for right now. Because it's not apparently obvious to me what exactly they want me to do to uh, obtain that whatever it is. Just know it's there. It's there for the taking if you can get to it. Hmm. Disappointing. Well, we'll, uh... We'll go in here now and see if there's... Okay. Cool. Oh, look at that! We have to do this all over again, eh? Is that right? Oh, cool. My fucking favorite. God damn it. Are you for real right now? You make me do all this fucking shit all over again? Just to face Dracula? When he's shooting his stupid ass little bats at me and... My god. Good lord. How fucking annoying is that? That's absolute bullshit, man. I can't stand stupid shit like that. We're gonna... We're gonna force you to do the same shit you just did all over again. Just to get back to that same spot. Just to try the damn boss fight again. Fantastic. Ugh. Good lord. I don't have... I don't have the patience for it. I mean, I kind of have the patience for it because I'm doing it again, but I'd, I'd really rather not. There are other things that I'd rather be doing, like proceeding through the game, or... You know, uh, what? Uh, you know, uh, trying that fight again. That'd be good. It's not this stuff that I had a problem with. This wasn't the part that that uh, was challenging for me. You know? Yeah, whatever. Come on, then. Come on. Always a conundrum in games. We know that you lost that part that was really difficult. No, you don't have to do that part over again. You're gonna go back and do all the easy shit just to get an opportunity to try the hard thing again. Just... Just absolute horse shit. A door opens. Go fuck yourself. Got your chop goblin right here. There you go. Look like those little finger toys used to play with. People of a certain age will know what I'm talking about. They're little monsters that went on the end of your finger. That's what those guys look like. You get them out of like uh, the quarter machine at Kroger. Back downstairs, huh? Stop for some grapes and blood. Found chop coins. Chop, chop, chop coins. Chop coins. Stop, stop by and chop by. Chop by for some stop by. Chop by. Stop by for some coins. From chop coins. There you go. 
go. I don't even need to get those coffins because they don't really do anything. There's our mask. And there's our chop coins that as far as I know don't do anything either. There's no chop store. No chop accessories that you can upgrade. I'm docking big points. Big points for that, David Shemansky. No chop store? Bullshit. Not only do you make me start all the way back at the beginning, if I want to fight Dracula again, there's no chop store to cash in the chap coins. Another mask. And... And... There's our third mask. And we'll go up here and we will... Cash in our masks in the bank. See how we're doing on ammos. Maybe I should just try and pump him up here. Maybe I should try and pump him up full of ammo with this gun. Where are you, son of a bitch? Hey. He's trying to be sneaky. Come on now. How many hits is it going to take? Now we've moved on to the fucking the flintlock. No! Damn! Son of a bitch! How many? God damn, finally? Woo! All right. <sighs> Moving on. Again, you emerge from the time portal. Dracula's foul baritone echoing in your ears to find yourself in ancient Greece. Dracula's defeat was a heavy blow to the Chop Goblins, and you guess that they now seek the staff of the Corinthians, a powerful magic weapon from the annals of myth and legend. They cannot be allowed to wield such a weapon. You must find it first and use it against them. The big choppers are the ultimate chop goblin warriors. Few weapons slow them down and they can destroy your health in seconds. Be careful. Alright. I'll be careful. Because I don't want to have to do a repeat of what we just did there and, and, and do this whole level two times all over again. Two times twice as much. I don't want to do it. Now, if you look out there, you can see some beautiful, beautiful water. Good job, David Shemansky, on that. That's lovely water. Lovely looking water, lovely looking sky, and uh, rock scenery here. It's a pleasant looking area in the game. So, good job. Now, how can I... I can just walk it. Just gotta walk it. You can't jump it. What is that? What do I see there sparkling? And why can't I walk up to see the sparkles? I guess it'll remain a mystery. Get our chap coins. Hold on, not just yet. Walk over here and see if there's anything to see. Down by the beach. Right near the beach. 
Look at that. It's lovely. Make a great screensaver, wouldn't it? Take this right... Take this right here. What's the best gun to go along with the scene? I think that one, because it's kind of like a pirate theme. Leave her, Johnny, leave her! Now we'll head on inside. Take care of these chopping goblins. Quit throwing shit. a little more life than I would have liked to right there. Got some health bonuses though. Too bad the pools of of uh what do you call that? What do you call that? Uh panacea? Too bad they don't fill your health up again. That would have been a nice touch I think. You stand in the pool of water and it gives you a nice little health boost. Kind of like you're playing Legend of Zelda. Oh, look at that guy. Oh! He throws lots of chops at you. I'll have to keep an eye out for heal. Let me do a little stabbing just to... Ah. Okay. I don't see any explosives around here. So that's kind of shit. Have to... Oh no! What? Oh boy. Not too good. Oh! Oh. Oh, okay. Got him. Down to an unfortunate amount of health here, but I think these guys are pretty well taken care of, so if I can find some health lying around, that'll be good. Be right back in the game in no time. Maybe. I just heard some chop goblins, I think. There we go. That helps. I hear the chop goblins, but I don't see any of them right now. Oh, there he is. Lying in wait. Like some sort of piece of shit. Now. The name of the game here is going to be... Uh, what's the name of the game here? The name of the game here is the element of surprise. Meaning we don't want to get surprised. It's going to be hard to surprise them, but if I can refrain from being surprised myself... That's all I need. A little sharp shooting here. Ah. Yep. Oh no. Damn you. Well. Get him. Man. Man. No, 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 no. We don't want it. We don't want it. We don't want that. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Get a little heart fix there. 
Is this another case if you just have to walk into the cage? No. There must be a lever somewhere else where I have to, uh, deal with that. Huh. Look, look at it. Hmm. Now, um, up the stairs. We'll travel here. Some health packs. Satisfying sort of uh, sound to the trees when you're blowing them apart. I like that. On up we go. No big deal. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get caught here. Ah, oh, you, you shit. Ah. Fuck. A secret door opens. Where? Where did the secret door open? It sounded like it came from my left. Somewhere to my left. That wasn't it, was it? Hmm. Where did that door open up? I have to wonder. I'll keep searching for it. Is this it? I think that might have been it. What chops await us down here? There's one. Be on the lookout for those big bastards. Those guys are ruthless. They throw too many chopping devices all at one time. Is that it? Is that all we got back here? There's no sort of, uh... Oh, there we go. Several doors open. Several of them. What else opened? No one cares. Go fuck yourself. here to see. This is one of the doors that opened. And this one did over here too. Let me just take a look in here. The last thing I want to do is accidentally end the level. Just a little ammo and some health in here. That's good to know. Some little blue waters. And chill out and have a rest. Relax for a second. Now me and Chop Goblins go way back. Just now filling you in here, but... If you watch my... Iron Lung... Super Duper Divorce video... At the end of it... Um, you'll see the... Uh, You'll see a part where I showed a couple screenshots of Chop Goblin that could be found in in one of uh, a secret folder in the files for Iron Lung. If you played Iron Lung, it's another game. Or if you've not played it, I'm filling you in now. It's another game. Of, another game. God bless it. Game from David Shamansky, the creator of this game. Also the creator of Dusk. But Iron Lung inside a secret folder. When you download Iron Lung, you can find a couple screenshots. A couple, two, three screenshots that just say Chop Goblins. And I broke that news on uh, the Super Duper Divorce review of David's game Iron Lung. Check that out. 
Now down we go. And, uh... Woo! Look, where are we at now? What are we doing? Yes. Is that all of them? I guess I fell the wrong way, didn't I? So I can only get a couple, I can only get... Yeah, alright. Whatever. I'm gonna have to go from platform to platform. Now who's... Who's doing that? Someone just... What the fuck? looking for him. I don't see anyone. Hmm. Get there? No, fuck. No, get up there. Come on. Oh, shit. Damn. I want to get all these chop coins, even though they don't do anything. What's that all about? Why do I give a shit? You know? Why do I give a shit about the chop coins? Alright, well, at least there's some health there. Oh! There we go. That's who was giving me fits. Now what? Who? Oh. Some first aid, nice. Little health packs. Whoa. Oh! Holy shit! Damn. Yep. All right. Whew. I don't know if this is a secret area or if this is uh, just the next area I was supposed to go to in the game. Might as well re-up on some ammo and some health before I attempt to move forward. What do I got to do here? What is this? The wand is stored in this temple. The correct symbols must be... The correct symbols must be nearby. Is that what it said? There are symbols nearby. Am I supposed to go back down there to find them, or are the symbols up here? Now shit. I don't know what I'm looking for. Some sort of clever hiding spot. Hold on, there's, there's a symbol. Okay. There's a symbol. So it's a uh, fucking. I think I got that down. Looks like that. That. And then the. Is that it? Wrong order, maybe? Okay, let's try, um... 
There we go. I figured it out. Because I'm really smart. Just like playing a little game of Blue's Clues. Now we've got the Wand of the Corinthians. And we're going to use this. To do some shit. After I get these goblin coins from my goblin collection. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh boy, the future will go. Again, you find yourself in a whirly, whirly, whirly wind of colors. The last thing you heard was the familiar sound, the Aztec time manipulation tablet activating. This must be their final dreadful bid for victory. You emerge in a desolate wasteland, a future that is not, but could be. They have transported you to an alternate timeline, a grimy sci-fi dystopia where the chop goblins already won. You stand in their vile capital city, Choppingrad, surrounded by the ruins of human civilization in front of a strange industrial structure that must be their HQ. You grip the staff of the Corinthians with rage. A world overrun by chop goblins just means more chop goblins to shoot. It's time for the final battle. The hack goblinators are part goblin, part machine. They have transcended the bounds of flesh and are faster and more cunning than other chop goblins, relentlessly flanking their foes and attacking with deadly laser cleavers. I'll save my wand of the Corinthians because I only got so many of those. I only got so many uses. Try and save those up for the final fight because I have a feeling we might need them. Now, something... What was that? being hit by laser cleavers. This, uh, kind of autumnal setting kind of reminds me of, uh, it's just, vibe-wise. Vibe-wise reminds me a little bit of Half-Life 2. Which is a neat kind of vibe to go for. Underutilized, in my opinion. Yep. Gotcha. Get some first aid. What do we got here? Some sort of terminal? Is there another one over here? Make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, look at all these boys. Gotta stick and move. You don't want to stay in one spot with these guys. If you try and camp, you're gonna find yourself in a world of hurt. Oh boy, I didn't know if I should. Not really what I wanted to do, exactly. Now we're down in the something or other. Nope. 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 Fuck it. God damn it. Fuck. Too much bullshit going on down there, man. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Let's, let's try again. It's fine. Ah! Damn it. What, did they, did they, uh... Not give me my... My rounds back? Did I, did I lose all my ammo? Now, see... 
now I'm starting to feel that that feeling where it's like, oh god, I gotta do that again. Now I just I want to rush in. I want to get through it. I don't have to mess around. With things I've already done. Such a bummer. Fine. Let me heal myself up. Get some of these items again. Get my health refilled. My ammo refilled. And then press the button and uh, unleash the chap goblins. Unleash the chap goblins of the future. There we go. That's how you do that. Now, back downstairs for this bullshit. Into the chop goblins underground lair. Gotta try and keep better, uh, track of where I am. I don't want to step on that because that takes me down into places where I don't want to go yet. I don't want to be falling into holes and, and traps and shit. Because that's when it's really easy to get surrounded. And these guys with the little laser shits. Damn it. Ah! Starting to really tinker my titties here. Yeah, the ammo is nice and everything, but what I really need is some health. No, let's not even. I only got four of the flint locks. Damn it. Oh, really? Woo, okay. Damn! One box of health out here that's better than nothing, I guess. I don't have shit for ammo across the board, basically. Oh, there's, there's a little health pickup. That's nice. But... I don't like retreating, you know? Get him through here. I think there's a guy waiting, like, right up here. Yep, there is. Fuck. Oh, he's around the side now, isn't he? Yeah. About to have to use one of these. Didn't want to do that, but. Okay. That's the only thing I have ammo for now. Pretty crazy. <sighs> Damn it have to go over here for a minute. I'm gonna have to see if we've got something back here. Anything? Oh my god. Oh my god. Just fuck it. Ha 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 ha! Hee hee! 
Very nice, David Schmansky. Thank you for that. Thank you for that nice, uh... Thank you for the nice pegging. Right there. Who doesn't enjoy a nice pegging? Right in their butt. You know? Lovely, lovely type of thing. Do this over again. This this whole gimmick. All right, you know it's pretty easy to clear out this top side. I just don't like the fact that you gotta do all this shit. And it, it's like, come on, start me in the underground base. Put me down in the uh, put me down in the shit with a modest amount of. ammunition and health and uh, and then just let me get started don't make me do this every time that's how I feel so it's like all right well all right bottoms up It just pisses me off that, uh, you know, you got so much shit to deal with. All these guys, all the, the big bastards down the hall. And it's tough to move past, um... There's so many of them. So many of the sons of guns. I mean, look at all these guys. And it's just like the opening room. And they don't seem to be very pleasant with ammo down here. Like, look, uh, look, a couple hits. And I'm down to below 60. Just to look around. You know, just to get to a point where I can have a little... A little comfort. And you might say, well, why don't you just use your, your magic wand? And I would say, because I'm trying to save it... For a time when, you know, I might really need it. Well, when is that going to be? I don't know. Probably right now, probably right around this corner, when I go through here, and all these guys come out of the woodwork. The big guys. Oh, it didn't even do anything! It totally missed. What a waste. Jesus. Jesus. 
absolute just cod swallop. Fucking horse poop. Why don't I just go down here and all the, you know, close quarters bullshit and just see what happens? Now, is it um, through here? What if I go in here and just try to... There. I'm just gonna try a couple of those. I know where I've got some more magic wand ammo. So... I feel like I took one step in here last time, and I was just being bombarded. Come on, anyone else? Hmm. Alright, let me go and refill on my, uh, magic wand ammo down here. Filled up on that. Only five flint locks, which I might be able to use on someone over here. This guy. Okay. Is there a big guy back here? What are they gonna throw at me next? What? Come on! Fuck. Fuck it! Come on! I'd like to take out the high ground first. See what I'm working with. Sometimes it takes three, sometimes four hits on those guys. I don't understand that. Not happy about it. Alright, good. Finally, a little reward for my efforts. That's good. Force field's been deactivated. I don't even know if I want to get that. Why? Because what happens if I what happens if I can't just walk back up that little platform? That might be a trick. That could be another Dave Shemansky trick, like one of one of One-Eyed Willie's uh, tricks, where you think, "Oh, I'm gonna get this little coin," and then you do it and you die. So no, I'm not gonna bother with it. Not even doing it. I don't need all of David Shemansky's rich stuff. He can keep that one. Oh, fuck. Spicy, spicy. Get him? Alright. Good to go. Make sure I didn't leave any, uh health on the table there. Alright. Moving right along! No, why the fucking- come on! Ah! Spicy, spicy. Got him? Alright. Let me have a look around now. 
Okay, that's all good stuff. All stuff that's good right there. Though I don't know what's going to happen. So I kind of cleared out a little bit of this already. That's good. Get some of these choins. What's going on in there? It's like a control room. Hmm. Looks like we got just plenty of uh, extra ammos for the magic wand, so I'm gonna make use of this for a minute. That takes care of that. Seems like they're not going to attack. Might be one of those situations where if I let them go, they're all going to gang up on me. So, we'll go ahead and uh, just make sure that that doesn't happen. I think that's a smart thing to do. Because if I let them live, there's probably going to be this moment where uh, something happens and uh, it's like, oh, you should have killed all those guys when you had the chance because now they're going to come and kill you, dear player. Well, it's not happening. All right, we've got to be getting close to the end. Oh, yeah. Look at all this. Ah. What? Are you fucking serious? What the fuck? How? <laughs> ah, boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. That's so fucking stupid. Incredible. And fucking credible, man. Wow! Holy shit! It's fucking bullshit. Okay, well. No use in even fucking trying to play with any semblance of uh, strategy or tactics here. I'll be here all fucking day if I do that. So, it's like, oh, I was trying to, trying to play it safe, you know, and save up my, my fucking things until the end. No, no reason to do that. You're just gonna draw the game out unnecessarily. Look at this fucking guy. Really? It's like you can't... Jesus. Wow. Incredible. Still almost dead, okay. Well, um... Back up this way. Get this ready. Or is that what they want? No, I, I need to go this way. Really. Ultimately, that's... those guys. They think they're such hot shit. Because they take variable amounts of damage and die. You know? I don't really...
really care what you have going on. All I know is you're pissing me off, and I'm trying to get through this damn game while I'm still, uh, not a senior citizen, you know? Oh, great. <laughs> Fuck! Caught! I was caught on the edge of the thing. You could see it. I say that, and then I keep playing. I have very little patience for such and such, and then I continue doing the thing that requires patience to do. Alright, down, dropping on down. And... Off. Spicy, spicy. You know it's spicy. My foot in your ass. How about that? Now how how are those guys? I wonder. Like why is it? Why is it that some of them are immune to the uh, the staff of of, uh, f of fucking Corinthians? It seems like the staff doesn't hurt half of them. That's how I died up top, you know, the first time. When I thought I was looking damn good, headed, you know, right into the ending. And then it was like, oh, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Get all of them that time. No, we got one more. We got this guy. Okay. Okay. It's like five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, the little finger puppets. Somehow the most terrifying enemies in the game. Now we'll do this. Press the baton. Force field's been deactivated. Shop coins that I shouldn't care about, but still kind of do for some reason. Thank you. Mm. Trying to throw shit at me. Quit throwing shit. Alright, now there are going to be a bunch of guys down there, I think. <clears throat> because I, uh, didn't kill them on the bottom first, but I got the high ground. So what that means... Is I can go ahead and... Oh, fuck's sake. Got 
plenty of ammo for this thing waiting, so I'm just gonna take this opportunity to fuck some shit up. Oh, he's... Oh, he's being a little fancy boy, isn't he? Hopping to and fro. There you are. How about you now? How do you like me now? Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Huh, <sighs> okay. Now, we're about back to where we were when I experienced my mo most bullshit death of the game so far. When the throngs of enemies started rushing me and I was blasting the hell out of them using this thing. And it didn't seem to make a difference. But this time... This time, I know to back up a bit more and uh, perhaps be a bit more vigorous with my blasting. Really let him have it. Because we got plenty of, of um, you know, plenty of refills over there. There we go. Okay, let him have it. Refill it up. I hear some big guys. Oh. Got him. And... Oh, fuck. That was a miss. Damn it, see, that's bullshit to me. When it's like, you got a bunch of them that you lined right up, right in front of you, just nice, and then... All right, I'm gonna cool it on the wand for a sec, just to try and clear some of these douchebags out. Oh, we got a big boy up there. Trying to throw some shit down our way, well. We'll let him do that. Show him he ain't quite the shit he thinks he is. Look at that. With a flintlock. Humiliation. That's what he should be feeling right now. Take out a few of those guys. Damn it. Maybe another wand. No, I don't think so. I don't think we need the wand yet. Try and do a little luring here. And get these guys down here. That would be good. To waste a million shotgun shells. What are these? Oop. Oh, look at these guys. Little grandmas. Party's over, Grandpa. Gotcha. Okay. Um, that's looking pretty good. Oh, we got some noise. No big deal. Still pretty well stocked up. And I guess we'll head through here. 
see what we've got next. Ooh. All right. This is it. Ultimate Goblin time. Have we set things right? Oh, I thought that was going to be a boss fight. You emerge gasping from the time portal back in the museum basement. Your own time, just as you left it. But what are the chop goblins? You glance frantically out the window. The city streets are miraculously undestroyed and unchopped. The nightmare is over. Then your eye catches something in the corner. The dusty old chest that had imprisoned the chop goblins is still there and still open. The chop goblins are still out there somewhere, waiting for the opportunity to chop again. I am number 147 with 63,900 points on the leaderboard. Select once again mode from the main menu to start a new game with the same weapons, ammo, health, etc. that you ended with. I wonder if if you do once again mode, if, um, if you're still eligible for the leaderboard. Or if the leaderboard is only if you're... Uh, not your first run, but a run without starting with upgraded weapons and such. I'll have to investigate that. There you go. There's Chop Goblins, guys. Your full Super Play playthrough with commentary. If you came here looking for a no commentary video, because that's what I've been doing on gameplays for about the past year... Uh, I'm going to disappoint you and tell you that I'm not doing those anymore. Why? Because, um... It doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like it's very helpful. It's not helpful to the channel to do no commentary. I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, you know, sometimes you don't want to hear someone babbling over top of the game the whole fucking time. I guess if you really feel that way, you can just play it yourself. Problem is, uh, you know, too many games just sit there. It's like no one's, no one's subbing to the channel just to watch no commentary playthroughs. I mean, maybe like a small handful of people are, and if you're one of those people, then I'm sorry. But, uh, but it, the views don't justify continuing to do it. You gotta, if you want to grow as a channel, you gotta keep trying new things. And if something's not working, then it is gotta, you gotta evolve. You gotta try new things. I just trying to fucking chop goblins here today, talking over top of it the whole time. So you get to experience what I'm experiencing as I'm playing through. My reaction. Is this a reaction video? At the very least, I didn't put my face over the screen the whole time and edit it. Uh, I, tr I tried doing that a couple times. I just don't like it. I don't like doing that. I don't know. So whatever. You know, I hope you enjoyed Chop Goblins. And even if you sat here and watched the whole thing, I would still say it's worth playing and see if you can beat my high score. And if you do, just know I'm going to come after your ass again. I'm not done with Chop Goblins. I'll play this again sometime. I don't know exactly when. I might do it later today. Who knows? But, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, being here. And if you haven't done so, please sub to the channel. Bong the gong for notifications. So maybe you know when new videos go live here. Maybe YouTube will sometimes tell people who subscribe and, and ask for notifications. Sometimes they'll notify you, sometimes they won't. It's really up in the air. Uh, no one knows how it works. Uh, not even their tech support knows how it works because I've asked them about live streams in particular because I live stream. I'm actually working my way through um, a series of uh, live streams called Sega Mania Mania where I'm playing in sequential order all of the games reviewed in Sega Mania magazine. I'm on number 10 now. Or that's the number of it, uh, fucking uh, reviews I've done. The next episode will be Sega Mania Mania number 11. If you'd like to join me for that, then again, please sub to the channel and keep an eye on your notifications. Maybe 
YouTube will let you know when I go live next time, and you can come and stop by and hang out in the chat and uh, talk some shit, whatever you want to do. So, I hope to see you. Follow me on Twitter at SuperDivorce. And uh, that's about it for now. Take real good care. Keep kicking ass. Love you lots. Lord willing, I'll be back very soon with another video for you to watch. Bye-bye.